What's Up Pro Meter. You use it to measure how much power is used by devices that you plug into the wall, either at your school or at your home on a daily basis. Now that you have the What's Up Pro USB software downloaded and the meter connected to your computer, it's time to set it up for data collection. We're going to begin by clicking on Meter Settings. This tests to see initially whether the meter is actually connected to the computer. As you can see here, we got a green message, which means that it is indeed connected. If you get a red message, just unplug your meter and try again. This will fix the problem. The first tab that we're going to click on is the Memory tab. This tells the WhatsApp Pro meter what to do when the memory becomes full. In our case, as you can see down here, Stop is selected. This means that it will stop collecting data as soon as the memory is full. In this case, you want to write down the start date and time at which you began to collect data. We also have the option to overwrite. This means that the meter will continuously collect data until it's unplugged. In this case, you'd want to write down the end date and time at which you finished collecting your data, and then work backwards in order to identify each of the individual times. In our case, we recommend the stop option. What we're going to do now is send the settings to the meter. You want to do this after you select the options in each of the following tabs. Now this warning message that pops up tells us that any data accumulated on the meter is now going to be deleted. If you wanted to use the data that's already on the meter, you need to be sure to download it before proceeding with this option. We're going to press OK, and we're all set for the memory tab. Next, we're going to go visit the logged items tab. This allows us to select what exactly we want the WhatsApp Pro Meter to collect in terms of data. For most projects that you will be using the WhatsApp Pro for, collecting watts and watts hours is sufficient. We're going to send these settings to the meter again, press OK, and now we're going to move on to the Interval tab. This allows us to decide how often the WhatsApp Pro is going to log a piece of data, or a datum. In this case, it's set to log a piece of data every 5 minutes, which means that it's going to be able to collect data for 37 days and 17 hours. I'm going to change that to 1 minute, so every 1 minute it's going to collect a sample. This brings the time that the WhatsApp Pro meter is able to collect data for down to 7 days and 13 hours, which is about a week. I'm going to send that to the meter, press OK again, and we're all set to begin our data collection. Now that we have the WhatsApp Pro configured, we need to get it set up so it can start collecting data. First of all, we need to plug it into the wall. Next, we take the plug-in for whatever object we want to measure the consumption of, and we plug it into the socket on top of the WhatsApp Pro. In this case, it's my laptop. We then see the value for the power consumption appear on top of the WhatsApp Pro Meter screen. So this is my laptop plug. Before plugging my laptop into the WhatsApp Pro, I was sure to check the wattage that my laptop uses. In my case, it doesn't say right on the plug. It gives me the amps and the volts, so I have to multiply the volts times the amps in order to figure out the wattage. You don't want it to be over 1800 watts. If it is, please, please, PLEASE don't plug it into the WhatsApp Pro, otherwise... Now that you've collected your data, it's time to download it onto the computer. In order to do this, we're going to go to the Receive Data tab in the WhatsApp USB software. We're going to click Next, and then Next again, and then we need to test the USB port. In my case, the meter was detected, which gives me a green message. If you get a red message, try retesting the meter, unplugging it, and plugging it back in again. We're going to click Next again, and then we are now at step 3, which is receiving the data. We're going to begin by requesting the data from the WhatsApp Pro. Now, I had previously downloaded data on this software. I don't wish to save it, so I just press No. It has now transferred the data that I just recorded on my WhatsApp Pro meter. I now have the option of viewing it either as a table or 
I can view it as a graph. I can save this data as well as a text file, which will allow me to export it into such a program as Microsoft Excel in order to manipulate it and process it. So I go into File and Save Table As, and now I'm going to name it something that means something to me. So in my case, I'm going to call this Fridge June 27th and I'm going to save it to my desktop. And if you forget what's up, you can always check our website www.thegaiaproject.ca for our quick start guide on the WhatsApp Pro Meter. Or you can give us a phone call or an email. All of our contact information is on the website. Best of luck!